हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम बैक विथ माई न्यू वीडियो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड इंट्रोडक्शन टू द टेंसेस एंड प्रेजेंट टेंस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टडी पास टेंस एंड फ्यूचर टेंस लेट अस बिगिन विथ पास टेंस द फर्स्ट सब टाइप ऑफ पास टेंस इज simple past tense now what is simple past tense the action happened in the past ended in the past and how to identify that the given sentence is in simple past tense so here is the structure it begins with subject plus verb to now here we will use the second form of the verb plus object or adverb so in simple present tense it was subject plus v1 plus object or adverb and here in simple past tense we can see subject plus verb 2 plus object or adverb so here also the examples we will use the same hari cooked in a restaurant so here my verb cooked is in v2 form who cooked hari cooked cooked what here there is no object cooked where in a restaurant so this adverb so in this sentence you can see subject verb in the second form and adverb second example of simple past tense saurabh threw the ball threw is in v2 form who threw saurabh threw what here i am getting object so here we have subject plus verb in the second form and then object third example children played football in the maida so here played is in the v2 form in simple present tense we have learned children play football in the maidan so here it will become children played football in the maidan so here who played children played played what football it's an object where in the maidan so maidan is adverb okay so let's move on i gave you one example he is my neighbor in simple present tense if you remember so he is my neighbor in simple past it will become he was my neighbor so verb in the second form the v2 form is only used in simple past tense once again i repeat it's an important listen verb in the second form v2 form is only used in simple past tense now let's move with the second sub type of past tense past continuous tense here also the action happened was going in the past so how to identify past continuous tense subject plus was or were plus verb in the fourth form plus object or adverb in present continuous if you remember the helping verbs which we used there were am is are in past continuous we will use was or were was for singular were for plural and the verb is in v4 form which is present participle were plus ing so let's do example 
Hari was cooking in a restaurant. So here Hari is singular. That is why I use was. And cooked became cooking here because continuous. The Hari was cooking in a restaurant. Second, Saurabh was throwing the ball. Again, Saurabh singular. That is why I used helping verb was here. Let's move on with the third example. Children were playing football in the Maidan. So here children is in plural. That is why I have used were here. And you can see played became playing. So once again, what examples we have used here? Hari was cooking in a restaurant. Saurabh was throwing the ball. Third, children were playing football in the Maidan. So these are the examples of past continuous tense. Please learn the structure by heart so that when it comes, any sentence comes in exam, it will be easier for you to identify the sentence of which tense it is. Immediately you will answer it. Now let's move with the third sub part of past tense that is past perfect tense. Now what is past perfect tense? Action had happened in the past long ago. And how to identify that the given sentence is in past perfect. Here is the structure. Subject plus had plus v3 plus object or adverb. If you remember in present perfect, I used two helping verbs has or have. Has for singular, have for plural. But here in past perfect, we will only use had. In both cases. What are the cases? Singular or plural. If your subject is singular, use had. If your subject is plural, use had. In which case? In past perfect tense. And your verb will be in the third form. That is V3 form. Verb plus EN, N, NT, D, ED. So let's solve the examples. Hari had cooked in a restaurant. So here Hari, subject, had, helping verb, cooked, V3. Now, students, you will say, sir, you have used cooked in simple past also, hurry cooked. But it was simple because we did not use had there. But here, we have used had before cooked. So, my sentence turned into past perfect. So, hurry had cooked in a restaurant. Second, Saurabh had thrown the ball. Saurabh. Subject, had helping verb. Thrown is a third form of throw. Okay. And my object is the ball. Third, children had played football in the Maidan. So children, plural, but still I use had. Because here I told you, if whether your subject is in singular or plural, use had after subject only in past perfect tense so here we studied past perfect students do not worry if you have any queries your queries will be solved you can ask me in personal definitely your queries will be solved and listened now let's move on with the fourth subtype of past tense. Past perfect continuous tense. Here, the action had begun in the past. 
continued to a certain point and ended in the past. So this is past perfect continuous tense. Now how to identify past perfect continuous tense? Here is the structure. Subject plus had plus been b double e n been plus verb in the fourth form that is present participle verb plus ing plus object or adverb. So this is the structure of past perfect continuous tense. Let's solve examples. Hari had been cooking in a restaurant since 2015. It means Hari started cooking in that restaurant in 2015 and it continued to the certain period and ended in the past. The Hari had been cooking in a restaurant since 2015. Second, Saurabh had been throwing the ball since half an hour or for half an hour. Third, children had been playing football in the Maidan. So this is past perfect continuous tense. You have seen here, I have used only one helping of that is had, 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 had. So here also, had, no singular, no plural. Where we will see that? In present perfect and present perfect continuous. Has, have, has, have. If you remember, go back to that video and watch it and thoroughly understand when to use has, have and had. And, and if you still have any doubts, you can approach me. So now we have done with the second main type of tenses that is past tense. Now we will move on with the third and the last type of tenses that is future tense. Now even future tense has four subtenses. Let us begin with simple future. What is simple future? Action will happen at certain point in future. Okay, and how will you identify that the given sentence is in simple future tense? Here is the structure. Subject plus will or shall plus verb in the first form, that is V1 form, plus object or adverb. So here, you can see the structure and accordingly we'll frame our sentences, which we call it examples. Number one, Hari will cook in a restaurant. So Hari is subject, will is a helping verb that shows future reference that the action will happen in future. So Hari will cook in a restaurant. Okay. Second, Saurabh will throw the ball. So here also, Saurabh's action will happen in future. Now some students get baffled. That, sir, when to use shall? Students, we use shall. Of course, we, you, we use shall in future tense. But the rule says shall must be used when you use first person pronoun in subject's place. I shall. We shall. Suppose I replace Hari with I. I shall cook in a restaurant. We shall cook in a restaurant. But here, my subject is Hari. So Hari will cook in a restaurant. Saurabh will throw the ball. So let's move on with the third example. 
What? Children will play football in the Maidan. So here also I have used will, children, plus helping verb, the subject plus helping verb, plus V1, an object and adverb. So do not get confused at will for singular and like shall for plural. No. Both helping verbs show future reference. Okay. If you remember, I have also given one example. He is my neighbor, which turned to in simple past. He was my neighbor. And in simple future, it will be he will be my neighbor. Okay. So now let's move on with the second subtype of future tense. That is future continuous. Here also action will happen in the future continuous form. How to identify future continuous subject plus will plus b plus v4 plus object or adverb. Now here you can see will and after will you will see b. And then fourth form of the verb that is ing. So will be ing therefore future continuous tense. So let's do it. Hurry will be cooking in a restaurant. Saurabh will be throwing the ball. Saurabh will be throwing the ball. Children will be playing football in the Maidan. So you can see here, will be ing, will be ing, will be ing. So let's move on with the third subtype of future perfect. What is future perfect tense? Again, it refers to future reference and expected to be finished in future at certain point. How to identify future perfect? Subject plus will plus have plus verb in the third form plus object or adverb. So this is the structure of future perfect tense. So you can see the structure, it's given here. You can see in the structure, I have used two helping verbs. The first helping verb shows future, will. And second, that is have. Have shows perfect. And if we attach will, have and v3 together, it makes future perfect tense. So hurry will have cooked in a restaurant will have cooked future making future perfect Saurabh will have thrown the ball children will have played football in the maidan so you can see here i have used will have plus v3, will have plus v3, will have plus v3. So in future perfect, you will see will with have and v3. Okay. So let's move on with the last subtype of future tense. That is future perfect continuous tense. Now, to what is future perfect? Same way it refers to future and expected to be happening in future for certain point. So how to identify future perfect continuous? It begins with subject plus will 
plus have plus been plus verb in the fourth form plus object or adverb. You can see here. And here you can see the combination will have been v4. Together makes future perfect continuous tense. Let's solve examples. Hari will have been cooking in a restaurant. So will have been cooking. Second, Saurabh will have been throwing the ball. Third, children will have been playing football in the Maidan. So, will have been playing. This thing you have to keep in mind. So, let's have a little brief about future tense. Simple future, we have to will plus v1. Future continuous, 3. Will plus b plus ing. Future perfect will have verb in the third form, that is past participle. Future perfect continuous, we have four, will have been ing. So this is future tense. So students, we have learned tense very nicely and with proper concept. I hope these videos will help you to learn tense in a better way. Assignments will be given to you to see how much you have understood. In this way, we will evaluate you. So student, now, today we have learned tense completely. Now, let's take one verb and change that verb in total 12 tenses. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Let's take one verb, make. The verb is make, M-A-K-E, make. Now with this one verb, I will make 12 sentences of 12 tenses. Let's start. She makes cookies. Simple present. She is making cookies. Present continuous. She has made cookies. Present perfect. She has been making cookies. Present perfect continuous. She made cookies. Simple past. She was making cookies. Past continuous. She had made cookies. Past perfect. She had been making cookies. Past perfect continuous. She will make cookies. Simple future. She will be making cookies. Future continuous. She will have made cookies future perfect she will have been making cookies future perfect continuous tense the students one verb i have made 12 sentences of 12 tenses so in this way i'll give you an assignment so that you can do it in the better way in past tense also all examples are used in affirmative sentences these examples can be written in negative as well as interrogative sentence. Let's take an example. Hari cooked in a restaurant. This is affirmative. Hari did not cook in a restaurant. This is negative. Did or didn't. Hari cook in a restaurant? Question mark. This is interrogative. Same goes with second example. 
Saurabh threw the ball. This is affirmative. Saurabh did not throw the ball. This is negative. Did or didn't Saurabh throw the ball? Question mark. This is interrogative sentence. Let's take a third example. Children played football in the Maidan. This is affirmative sentence. Children did not play football in the Maidan. This is negative sentence. Did or didn't children play football in the Maidan? Question mark. This is interrogative sentence. Now students, we have seen how one sentence we changed in negative as well as in interrogative in simple past tense. So same way we can do it in past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Now let's come to future tense. Even in future tense, all examples are used in affirmative sentences and these examples also can be used as negative or interrogative. Example, Hari will cook in a restaurant. This is affirmative. Hari will not cook in a restaurant. This is negative. Will or won't hurry cook in a restaurant question mark this is interrogative second example Saurabh will throw the ball this is affirmative Saurabh will not throw the ball this is negative Will or won't Saurabh throw the ball? Question mark. This is interrogative. Children will play football in the Maidan. This is affirmative. Children will not play football in the Maidan. This is negative. Will or won't children play football in the Maidan? Question mark. This is interrogative sentence. So this you can, so same way we can do in future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous.